Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Today I taught a lesson at a local high school, so I just kind of wanted to share, you, share with you what I have in my bag that I take with me teaching or to gigs, things like that. It's been a while since I've really done these things because of COVID, but I thought it'd be fun. So just get right into it. This bag is, I think from Land's End maybe. It's it's a boat bag. It was a gift from my grandma and it has my name on it. Yay! This bag is like the perfect size to carry sheet music and my iPad, I have the biggest iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch display. So this bag fits it perfectly. So let's see what's in here. First, I have my water bottle because I love drinking water and I need it. So drink water. Next, I put my whole purse in here. This is my purse from Target. It was on sale for like $8, which is what I like to pay for a purse because I'm cheap. Um, it has all my stuff, my wallet, my keys, hand sanitizer, pencils, pens in the front pocket, all of that stuff, all of the essentials. Whenever I use this bag, I just throw my whole purse inside it and it fits really nicely. It works really well. And the mask that I wore is floating around in here. Um, I should throw that away because I got really sweaty while I was teaching. Okay. And next we have the many, many books that I brought. I brought a lot of books to this lesson because it was my first time teaching this student. So we only ended up using two books and those are the two in the front. So the first one is my favorite scale book for violists. This is Scales for Advanced Violists by Barbara Barber. It has three octave scales in every key, all the thirds, octaves, sixths, um, chromatic scales, those kinds of things. Um, I just really like the fingerings in here and I think it's really just laid out in a way that's a lot easier to read than other scale books. So I brought this one in, we ended up using it for a little bit of something. So that was a good, that was a good thing to bring. The other book that we used today was a notebook for viola players. I love this book just for the exercises and warm-ups that it has in it. It's a pretty thick book and a lot of it is kind of just talking about different viola techniques um, different ways to play, different ways to warm up and hold every part of the instrument. So this one is just really helpful. I love the double stop exercise um, just on open strings just as a very like preliminary warm up for the day. So we also used that one. I'll show you through the other books that I brought today. I had no idea um, what we would work on or what level the student was at. So I brought both third and fifth position and second and fourth position. Sometimes I switch between these and into the positions but I figured I'd just bring the two of these today just in case we needed to practice some shifting. I also brought Solos for Young Violists by Barbara Barber. This is a great series of books for violinists and violists. They make them for both instruments and there are five volumes for viola, six volumes for violin. This is volume two, and I played through this one when I was in high school. It has some great rep in it. Um, I think most notable would be the Bohm Serenade. Bomb, Bohm, Bohm, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, probably the most notable one in here. So this one is great for high school violists mostly for like an intermediate level. I also brought 15 most popular classical melodies. I don't remember if I ever really played anything in this book as a student, but you know, it has the popular classical melodies in it. So this is just a good way for someone to learn something a bit by ear, a bit by music, kind of both ways. Um, it's got some good stuff in here, especially for like, late beginner to early intermediate players, I would say. So I just wanted to bring a range of books and materials because I didn't know quite what the student would need or what to do today. I also brought Disney movie favorites because that's just fun. This is easier music, but didn't know what we'd want to do today. So I just brought this to have some fun in case. And then I also brought string festival solos. It's not like amazing, but it's got some good intermediate to advanced viola pieces in there. I'm not really sure if it's like viola rep. Not really. It's really just other pieces of music transcribed for viola, but figured might as well bring it. Just have all our bases covered. 
And if you know me, you know my teaching would not be complete without my iPad. <laughs> I brought my iPad, didn't end up using it today, but for most of my students, I do use Google Docs to create a notebook. I send PDFs to students. I, I have so, so much music backed up on here. If we would um, want to play a piece out of a Suzuki book, I would have just pulled it up on here because I have them all on here. Just lots of different things. If um, I needed to reference like a fingering that I had created in an orchestral excerpt or something, I could look it up on here because I have basically all my stuff backed up on here, basically on Google Drive, but I could have created a hotspot on my phone if I wanted to. And the last thing I brought today was just like a little goodie bag. I don't have any more drawstring bags, so I'll just show you individually what I put in here. So the first thing is from Alto Clef Gifts. It's a little business card that says, what's a viola? It's perfect for viola students who get pestered by their friends um, asking like, what's in your case? How's it different from the violin again? How do you play it? This is a fun little thing to give out. And then I also included a business card. I'll show you the back of the business card because that has things that you can see on it. And the front of it basically looks like that. Just covering up my phone number. <laughs> Don't really wanna give that out on the internet. And then last thing I included was a new sticker that I just received or that I ordered. Um, this is my logo with my little username on the bottom so that people can find me. And the student said that she would put it on her binder. I'm super excited. So that was everything in my bag this time around, at least for teaching. This was just an introductory lesson and we ended up working on a lot of orchestral and chamber music that she had already been working on. So we only needed a few of my um, books to reference for like technique and exercises. So that's how that went. I'm super, super excited. It was a great, great lesson. So that's what I have in my bag. Again, here's the bag. I really should wash it. It's been a while and you don't want to see the inside. So <laughs> it's the perfect size for iPads and sheet music. Um, it also carries a water bottle really nicely and it zips, which I zipped it up this morning because it was raining and it was gross outside. So I protected my iPad and my music like that. It was all great. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time, and next week I'll be back with a tech-based video. Thanks for watching and have a great week.